Australia's own K-pop idol Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. Welcome to the K-Wave. Thank you, Jamaica and Andy. It's Rome time now. Welcome to the K-Wave on SBS Pop Asia. I'm Rome, the leader of K-pop boy band C Clown, and it's so good to have you all listening right now. I see your messages on Facebook and Twitter, of course, and I know you've been waiting, yes, waiting for me to answer all your questions. So thank you so much for hanging out with me every week on the Pop Asian app, because it's free, absolutely free. And I'm really excited and actually uh, pretty nervous to find out what a strange and wacky uh, questions you've come up with for me today. Because I think this show um, is all about listening to you guys and answering all your questions. And of course telling you guys about my crazy week. But you know, I think I'll dedicate this episode to your questions. Yes, how awesome is that? Okay, so um, you know what you can do. You can tweet me your questions at Rome underscore C Clown. Or at SBS Pop Asia, or you know, post on the SBS Pop Asia's Facebook page. Okay, guys, you know what it is. It's time to start with some awesome music. It's Girls' Generations with a G on SBS Pop Asia. G G G G G. Hey, hey, hey! Rome here from K-pop group C Clan, and this is the K Wave on SBS Pop Asia in Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you are having a lot of fun as much as I am having fun. Because、uh, honestly, this is the best show. I say that every week because I mean it. And、uh, now it's you know, I, I just love reading your questions and comments. Obviously, because、uh, they make this show much more awesome. Yeah, so please keep sending them in. Still to come up on this show, you know, it's Rome's week, of course. What have I been up to this week? But you know, instead of me telling you guys about my week this week. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Um, I want to actually answer a lot of your questions. So I'm thinking of you know dedicating this episode to answering a lot of your questions, whether it be online on Twitter or you know just actually reading them off straight off radio. So how's that? Okay. So anyway, uh, let's do that part. And um, actually, guess what? I'm just gonna go straight into one of the twitters and messages that you sent me. Right here. Okay, where is it? I'm just scrolling down, scrolling down. Okay, here's one from Facebook,、uh, and this person is called、uh, Jenna Clark. Would you ever consider branching out into acting in Korean dramas? P.S. I love you. Well, guess what? I love you too. And as for the、um, acting in Korean dramas, honestly, ah,、uh, no, I'm not really into acting. I'm more into the.、Uh, Behind the camera kind of guy, you know. I like producing. I like filming. I like composing a lot of music. You know.、Um, I mean, it's good to have a, a you know camera time as well. But I like making things. You know, and、um, it's just always been one of my passions. You know, of course, it, like people would love to be on camera, but there are those who love to, I guess, produce those who want to be on camera. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. But.、Um, Yeah, that's just the kind of person I am. I really want to be an artist when it comes to、uh, making and designing and producing. So, no, I have actually thought about it, but no, I don't think it's the road for me. And、um, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll make a drama later in the future, and it'll be like produced by Rome. <gasps> who knows?、Um, okay, so next, 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 next. Here's one from Cindy Tran one eight oh nine. Hey Rome, I'm just cu- curious as to how you and C Clown handle mistakes during performances. Wow, that's a very good question because I like a lot of idols. They do because we are human. We do make mistakes on our stage performances and、uh, how we overcome them. Hmm, it's a very good question because sometimes you don't really think. You know, you don't really think. Okay, I've made a mistake. I'm going to fix it as. Professionally as I can, sometimes it just comes naturally. And when that time does come,、uh, for instance, you know, once I think I dropped the mic、uh, because usually I wear a headset mic, but、uh, that day for some reason、uh, the headset mic did not work, and I was holding a hand mic, and it was kind of weird because I pretty much danced without a hand mic、uh, for those periods of.、Uh, I guess training sessions where I had to just literally dance freehand because I am one of the main dancers in my group, and when I got on that stage, it was kind of weird because I had to do my live part, but I was not used to putting the mic up to my my lips and dancing. So、uh, I think once I just dropped it, and、uh, as soon as I dropped it, I don't know, 
instincts just flew over me. I'm a b-boy. Got on the floor. I started dancing on the floor. <laughs> I picked up the mic and uh, voila. I was back to normal. <laughs> no, but our members, we handle our mistakes pretty professionally. I um, mean, if we do make a mistake, we do go over that. We monitor on screen and uh, we really do put in a lot of focus not to make that same mistake next time. But, you know, we're all good. We're all good. We're professional. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, I want to answer more of those, so please keep them coming. Tweet me at Rome underscore C Clown or at SBS Pop Asia. Now remember, SBS Pop Asia TV has changed time lots to 9 a.m. Sunday morning on SBS 2. So what do you have to do? You have to set your alarm and join Jamaica Dilla, Cruz, and Andy True for the hottest Asian pop video hits. Watch out for C Clown's music videos as well because they are just as awesome. For instance, like Let's Love. Yes, Narang Mana because you know I actually uh, I actually participated in filming that and I actually made the teasers for that. So it's just more of a reason why you should look out for that music video of C Clown. And speaking of which. Here's C Clowns Let's Love on SBS Pop Asia. This is the K Wave on SBS Pop Asia with Rome from C Clown. That's me. Okay, that's just off tune. But anyway, I'm Rome from C Clown. Nice to meet you all. Yes, and you, and you. I've got updates from the awesome world of K pop. I am here. I am a prophet, and I am ready to tell you all. Starting with this. Teen Top is coming back with a new mini album called Excito. Excito. The members were asked recently who they thought was the most handsome. Member Neil admitted that he thought Ricky was the best looking because he compared to the other members. He was tall and he also had a manly body. Woo! Okay, uh, if I was to rate my Sea Clown members, I would say I'm the most manly. And uh, Shil's the most girly. Kang Jun's the most handsome but weird. Ray's... I guess he's the pretty boy. Okay, does that make sense? He's the pretty boy. He looks very pretty for a boy. TK is... I don't know what he is. I think he's just a... I don't know. He's a giraffe. And, um, okay. GOT7's Yongjae deleted his Instagram. Why would you do that to your fans? Well, there's speculations on why, but he hasn't commented on it. Celebrities generally delete their SNS because they have been hacked. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. Um, you know, sometimes I can relate to this because, not sometimes, most of the times because uh, I too do have a Twitter, as you all know, of course, and uh, sometimes I follow random people. And, um, you know, I thought for a while that I might have got hacked and I was not sure what was happening, but, uh, you know, TK has the same problem, but, you know, it's not, out, it's, I think it's kind of out of the ordinary. But, you know, we don't hate it or anything. It's just, it kind of feels weird because it's your, I guess, account. But all of a sudden, uh, you know, you can get hacked. And when that happens, oh, it's very dangerous. Because this person can pretty much say anything and people think it's you. You know what I mean? So it's quite dangerous. So if you guys ever want to hack someone, uh, just hack your, I guess, your dog's account. If you made like a, a little... Twitter for your dog, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, I hope he'll be back. Korean entertainment companies YG and SM make a lot of money. According to figures released in the first half of this year, SM made over 135 million Australian dollars. Wow, YG made 85 million Australian dollars. Oh, uh, wow. Um, what would you do if you had 135 million dollars? Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. I would give it to my mom. Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I would. Uh, who wouldn't? Who would not give the money that they earn to their par parents or, your, you know, your mother, your dad? Because, honestly, they raised you. They made you who you are today. And, you know, I'm really thankful for that. So, definitely, I'll give it to my mom. And maybe I can take $1 million off of that. So, I'll give it $134 million and I'll take $1 million for myself. Oh, I think that would be enough. <laughs> And guys, that's this week's K-pop updates right here on SBS Pop Asia. I swear, I swear that was it. And here's sister, I swear.